Flastube. Say hi, Flastube. Who's a good boy? Say hi, Flastube. Say my name is Fenway. I'm Fenway. Good morning, Flastube. This is Fenway. And he is the reason why I have not gotten a lot of stitchy time in. Hi, Fenway. You want to get down? Okay, get down. Get down. Go chase the cat. The cat's in your bowl. The cat's in your bowl. Good morning. So basically what I've determined is that the way these videos are going to be made is that I'm going to record the entire thing once, hate it, and then record the entire thing again. So that's what I'm doing. I recorded all of this on Tuesday and hated it. And now I'm back on Friday. So, um, thank you everybody for watching another video. Um, I now have, I think, 230 subscribers, which is awesome, more than I ever planned on having. You gonna lay down? So, very excited about that. I uh, am shaking the camera, so I sorry, sorry about that. Um, I reached a new milestone in my floss tube making career. I got my first dislike. So I told my husband I reached the big leagues once I got my first dislike. I'm sure it won't be my last one, but it's there. So got it out of the way on my second video. Pretty excited. Um, so what can you say? Um, somebody's going to dislike you. I think there's probably somebody that goes through like every video that anybody makes and just hits dislike, dislike, but it doesn't bother me. I spent 10 years working in the operating room and four years working in the emergency room. So I've had like worse stuff said to my face than a dislike. So it doesn't bother me, but for everybody else, thank you. Um, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna pause this for just a second. Sorry about that, puppy was chasing the cat. So um, I was gonna go ahead and do the Know Your Needle Worker tag first, since I've delayed doing that for a few videos. Um, I think a lot of the stuff I already went over, but let's do an official tag. So um, name, Lena. Uh, where do you live? I live in Livermore Falls, Maine. Um, have lived here for about nine months now. Um, I'm really enjoying it now because it is May and things are blooming and it's nice outside. Um, we can open our windows. We planted our garden. So uh, the chickens are running around eating ticks. So yes, it's very nice. It was a very mild winter, so a nice uh, first winter to get used to living up north. Um, career, I'm a physician assistant. I do family practice currently. Um, children, three, three girls, 12-year-old uh, uh, Hannah, 10-year-old Ava, and 2-year-old Emmy. Um, pets, um, you've met my newest pet, Fenway. Um, I also have two cats, um, a calico that's 15 years old and a little black cat that I think is five years old. I have a bunny rabbit that my 10 year old decided she had to have uh, for Christmas this last year and Loved it for about a month, and now it's kind of become my bunny rabbit. Although, I have to say, she is still good at cleaning the cage, but the poor rabbit doesn't get any love. <laughs> uh, we have six chickens. I don't know that they're pets, but um, my husband decided now that we are country people instead of city people that uh, we needed chickens. So our house came with a chicken coop already there so we put chickens in it um, they are still relatively young we should hopefully start getting eggs um, in the fall I'm guessing so we have chickens um, hobbies 
um, I'm, other than cross-stitching. Um, I think I'd mentioned in previous videos that I like to geocache. And if you haven't looked up what geocaching is yet, I really recommend it, especially if you have kids, because it is really, really fun to do. I used to read a lot. I don't read as much anymore since um, I started cross-stitching again, <clears throat> but I do like to read. If I go on vacation or something where I have a lot of time off and really not necessarily anything that I need to get done, I will do reading. I do reading. I will read. Um, you know, not, not much else in the way of formal hobbies. Uh, favorite movie? I don't know that I have a favorite movie. Um, maybe Princess Bride. I really like Princess Bride. I do have, you know, everybody kind of has those movies that if they're on TV and you happen to be flipping through the channels and you see the movie on, you'll stop and watch it. So I have a couple of those. Uh, Pretty Woman is one, um, and what was the other? My Cousin Vinny, oh my gosh, My Cousin Vinny, I love, I love that movie. Um, I, I haven't seen it on recently, but that's a really good movie. Uh, favorite TV shows? I tend to not watch television pretty much at all, anything that's on TV currently. Um... If the TV is on in our house, it's either going to be on Castle, which my kids like to watch. It'll be on a Red Sox game if it's between March and October, or it'll be on Big Bang Theory, which my husband watches. I like to binge watch shows on Netflix, and I usually try to pick shows that are already completed, like every season is done so that I don't catch up and then I'm perpetually a season behind and then I have to wait. Um, there are a couple shows I do that with, Criminal Minds. I've finished up to last season and I'll watch it again once the season is on. Um, that's probably the only one I can think of that like. I'll watch that isn't over with. I recently binge watched like all the seasons of Medium. Um, and there was another one I binge watched before that. Oh, I can't remember the name of it. Burn Notice. I binge watched Burn Notice, which was really good. And I'm currently binge watching uh, The Following, which was only on for three seasons, but was really good. And I'm on the third season of that. Um, on DVD, I which I haven't gotten DVDs in a while. I mean, I do, but I just mostly get the kids' shows. Um, but on DVD, when I when I think to to get one, I've been watching Hannibal, and I still have one season left to watch of Hannibal, which was really good. I think that was only on for like three or four seasons as well. And I need to watch the last season. Anyway, I'm rambling. Favorite book. That's going to change all the time as well. But my most recent favorite book um, is actually a trilogy. And that is the Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children. That's the name of the first book. And that's actually coming out uh, as a movie, I think either this summer or fall. I'm really looking forward to that. I tried to get my oldest daughter to read it because I thought it was a really good book and I thought she's 12. She's in seventh grade. I thought she would read it. She, I don't think she got far enough into the book to um, really get her interest, um, but that is a very, very good book and very original. Like there's a lot of books that are great books, but there's only so many plot lines you can, you can have. Um, and so Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children is a very original concept. Uh, the second book is called Hollow City. I've read that one. I read both of those last summer when we first moved. I had a month off uh, and I was able to do a lot of reading. I didn't have um, all, most of my cross stitching was in storage. So I, I read. Uh, there's a third book in that series. Uh, I think it's called The Library of Souls. 
haven't got to that one. I own it, and I think I probably read like the first 50 pages, um, but that's as far as I've gotten. So one word that describes me would be disorganized. <laughs> I think I'm like just organized enough to function. So, but not not any more organized than that. Don't eat the core, baby. Um, I I probably have some like ADHD traits that I've never like been diagnosed or take medication or anything like that. But I I probably have a lot of ADHD type traits. So that is my first tag. It's all done. So, um, yeah, so what have, what YouTubers or floss tubers have I been binge watching lately? Um, I discovered the Evergreen Needle, um, love her, um, she is phenomenal and really cute. <laughs> so I just watched her actually most recent video last night. Um, I've been, uh, watched all of is it Sarah? Sarah Shears. Um, she's from Canada and I watch all of hers um, and like her. She reminds me a lot, not a lot, but I guess because they're both from Canada. Um, she reminds me of um, Mackenzie from The Lovely Array, who is one of my favorites. I love her. And then who else was I thinking of? My mind just went blank. Uh, cowgirl Kate, who gave me a shout out on one of her videos. I was so excited about that. Dog, please pick a quieter toy. We're going to pause one more time. Hold on. Sorry about that. Um, so Fenway is my first ever dog and they're just noises and things he does that I'm not used to. So anyway, I was saying cowgirl Kate, I was so excited, gave me a shout out on her channel and I wasn't prepared for it. I was sitting there cross stitching, had my headphones in, I uh, was watching some videos and all of a sudden I heard my name. I almost fell out of my chair. I had to call my husband over. I'm like, somebody, somebody said my name on their video. I was so excited. So thank you. And if you haven't um, gone to her channel, she is phenomenal when it comes to um, like al altering patterns, what do you call it? Yeah, my mind goes blank when I get in front of a camera, but conversions, thank you. Um, conversions, she does the most amazing conversions, not just like changing colors or beads. I mean, she adds like entire things that don't exist, like horses. Um, she's taken, I think, two of the lavender and lace patterns um, and done conversions where she's added horses behind the girls and they're amazing. And she actually, I think, um, gives away her conversions, um, though rightfully so, you still have to buy the original pattern because um, that's only the right thing to do. Um, but yeah, amazing conversions. And I think if I remember right on her last video, she's working on her first original pattern, which I'm sure is gonna be remarkable. Um, the Evergreen Needle also does a lot of really um, good conversions as well. So that's who I've been doing a lot of binge watching on most recently. Um, <clears throat> Probably next, um, I bought a few things, so I'll go over those. Not really very much stuff. I'm not a big purchaser of stuff. I kind of um, purchase things more as I go, um, as I'm wanting to do patterns, as I'm like thinking of gifts I wanna make people. I'll buy things. Um, but I did discover Stash Unload recently, and so I got a lot of things from Stash Unload, which um, were, I don't know, I thought good deals. Um, I did break down and buy, uh, download one pattern um, 
that I'm not necessarily going to stitch in the immediate future, but I finally decided, you know, I have all these patterns that I like and, oh, someday I'll get that and someday I want to do that and I never buy them. And I'm like, why don't I just buy one? So I finally downloaded Pretty Little New York by Satsuma Street and I did go and buy some fabric, although I don't know if I'll use this. It's just um, 28 count Monaco in tea dyed so I wanted something you know all the examples that I've seen are, are done on like a very neutral type Ada I just I don't like I don't like stitching on Ada um, I do for the ease because I mean after stitching on you know even weave and linen Ada is very like simple to stitch on but I don't like it as much. So I got the um, tea dyed uh, Monaco um, from DMC. But like I said, it's not it's not on my horizon. Although I did buy the thread for it as well. So, you know, maybe one day I'll just spontaneously start it. I did while I was buying, oops, buying the um, thread go out and get another um, like generic Q-snap. I probably have like four of them now, but um, I think I may keep one at work. I tend to take projects to and from work, but it, I think I'm just going to keep a Q-snap at work for that. So those were things I bought at the store along with a bunch of DMC thread, which I'm not planning to show you because I think everybody knows what DMC looks like. Um, so from Stash and Load in two different purchases which is funny because I don't even remember the second one, um, but sometimes I go on stash and load after a Benadryl or something. So I bought these little Lizzie Kate um, patterns. Um, I'll kind of go through them real quick. That's like a November flip it, June. I thought this would be really good for like a teacher's gift maybe. Um, my two oldest ones, um, Oops, well that doesn't, ah, sorry. Um, my two oldest ones have so many teachers, I don't think I would stitch all their teachers something, but you know, my youngest one is in uh, daycare now and uh, her daycare provider also runs a preschool, so I might do that. I actually got both two of these without realizing it, so I may use one in a giveaway someday. Got that one, this would be a, like a nice little graduate gift. That's another teaching one. Oops. That would be like a nice um, housewarming gift and just a nice little Christmas pattern. So I like these little patterns um, that I can just decide to do at some point. Um, so I have those. I also got these. I'm, I don't know why, but I really like collecting ornament patterns. I have this idea in my head that someday I'm going to stitch everybody I know an ornament. May or may not happen, but I got these. These um, were Dimensions kits, um, but I figured you could very easily find the conversion to use uh, DMC thread. And I was thinking of stitching them on either perforated paper or uh, the plastic. I think I think these patterns were originally stitched on on plastic, and I may try it. I've never stitched on um, plastic canvas before. I I like I really like stitching on perforated paper. I don't mind it at all. The only thing I don't like about it is that you have to use three threads, which means I don't get to do the loop start loop loop start method. Um, but other than that, I really like that I can really like pull and um, I don't have to worry about you know altering the threads. I also had gotten this um, collection of Stony Creek magazines because I had purchased the most recent one from the Stony Creek website and I, I liked so many of the patterns in there that I saw you know this grouping and um, 
and thought that I would like them. I do like um, a lot of the patterns. There's probably at least two or three patterns in each magazine that I like. Not as much as the most current, uh, current one, um, but definitely a lot of patterns in there that I like. So I think that's, I think that's the end of my haul. I don't think I've gotten anything else other than the threads. So we will move on to Stitch Mania, which as you know by my, if you watch my previous video, I was, I was just gonna wing it. And I did, I have been winging it. Um, I did go through my big box of stitching stuff and just put a lot of projects in a, um, just like a grocery bag, just to at least narrow it down so I wasn't searching through a big, uh, a big bucket every time I wanted to start something. So, for the first, and, and just to remind you, I was doing either a new start or a whip every three days. So uh, May 1st through the 3rd, I wanted to pick something really easy, um, something that wasn't going to take a lot, of, um, a lot of brain work, I guess. And I don't, I don't know where the picture is. <laughs> So I apologize, but it is one of the Mill Hill kits. It's the Star Santa, and you can see enough of it to see what he's going to look like. But when I filmed this the first time on Tuesday, I I had the picture out, and um, I'm not sure where it went. Let me. So there's Santa. All of the stitching is in, and I have added some of the beads. So. That's what I did the first three days. And then the either the third or the fourth day of Stitch Mania, May, May 4th, is when we brought Fenway home. So I didn't know how, how much a new puppy interfered with activities of daily living. So for actually three days, I didn't stitch at all. So... May 4th, 5th, and 6th, I didn't do any stitching. Um, so I was one project behind. Um, but, and I thought of, you know, maybe trying to catch up and do two projects the next three days. And then I decided, like, nobody cares. Nobody's keeping track. So I just decided to move on and just, oh, huh, guess what? Look, there's the picture. So, anyway. So I ended up doing my um, May 4th project, which is the mini solar system, which I do know has nothing to do with Star Wars, but it's as close to outer space as I was going to get. So the mini solar system by Clouds Factory, I worked on that for three days and I got, they don't have eyes yet, so they're kind of creepy looking, but um, Mars, Jupiter, and Saturn. And this is done. I really like this fabric. It's showing up a little, uh, a little bit more gray um, on camera. It's a little bit, almost has almost a greenish blue tinge to it. The sparkles on it, the opalescent part is uh, like there's green, like green and kind of mauvey sparkles. But this is a 32 count. And I like it, but it makes them very, very small. I mean, you can see, like, he's only as big as the tip of my thumb. So it's going to be a little bit smaller than I had anticipated, but I'm actually going to frame it. Um, for the near future, it's going to be at my husband's office at work. Um, but eventually, um, he's going to build a... Um, observatory because he does astrophotography so he if, so he takes his telescope and basically points it at things in the sky that you can't see with the naked eye um, and takes pictures and so he has a, a telescope we haven't he hasn't had it out since we've moved up here we actually had a pier in our backyard down in Florida and he he 
he kept it out most of the time, um, but has not brought it out since we've been here. But eventually would like to build uh, an actual observatory so that everything's closed in. Um, and so when that happens, we're actually going to put that in his observatory. Um, so that was my second project. And then for my third project, I decided I wanted to just go back to, you know, something I was very comfortable stitching, something that, you know, was, I don't know, my comfort stitching, I guess. So I went back to, oops, sorry about that. I went back to the, um, the baby announcement that I'm making for my friend who's having the baby in June. And I think last time you saw it, I was like right d up here. I done from like here to here. So since then I've done all of this. Um, and that part of that was um, before Stitch Mania because I was working on this uh, in the week before Stitch Mania and then part of that has been in the last three days. This is actually the ah, the very end of it, so that's that's how wide it is. Um, and as you can probably see, I was stitching in columns, and you can see the column marks, which I don't like. But I'm hoping that once all the lettering gets in with the baby's name and birth date, that that won't be as obvious. So that's what I'm hoping. So... I hate to say it, but that's really all the stitching that I got done. I am now starting... Um, I'm now going to be starting a new project for the next three days. I haven't decided what it's going to be yet. Um, like I said, I have a, a bag full of stuff. I don't know. I'm probably actually not going to get a lot of stitching done today because I'm going to surprise my eldest daughter and take her out for lunch. And then after school, we have a field trip. I know it's strange to have a field trip after school, but we are going down to Portland um, to a Sea Dogs game. So my 10 year old, her one of her clubs at school um, is going down to the Sea Dogs game this evening and I'm taking um, uh, Hannah as well and the three of us are gonna go watch a baseball game down in Portland. So that'll be fun, but that means we're probably not going to get back until about 10 o'clock. Although it's Friday, so maybe I'll stay up and stitch uh, later tonight. I'm actually probably going to bring my stitching <laughs> to the Sea Dogs game anyway. Um, if you guys follow me in Stitch Mania, you'll remember I posted a picture at the Red Sox um, Toronto exhibition game in Montreal and we sat sorry my mouth got dry we sat kind of high up like near the top and there was a nice little window ledge in front of me I had like a perfect area to stick my scissors and stuff like that so that was fun so I may I may actually bring it with me tonight. I may not get any stitching done. So I should probably pick a smaller project that um, I can take with me and not have to worry about, about anything. So yeah, so that is going to be tonight in the next two days. Yeah. I think that's it. I don't have anything else exciting. I'm going to try to go back to my every other Tuesday filming. I'm not, I don't think I quite have enough interesting stuff to say to go to a weekly filming schedule. Um, but I'm enjoying doing it. And as long as I'm enjoying doing it, I'm going to keep making videos. I love watching everybody else's videos. So, yeah, so I think, 
I think we're done, but have a great stitching day and um, I'll probably see you in about a week and a half. Bye.